Hey everyone, today I thought it would be a great idea to bring in some custom cookies to my coworkers. So I'm going to make some custom design cookie cutters. To do that, I'm going to outline the mascot of my company using DesignSpark Mechanical. And I'm going to use that to make the cookie cutters. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the file. So these are going to be the reference images that I'm going to outline. So you click on imports. You can go down to the file type and we're looking for all files. And you can see that I have the head and I have the full body icon here. So I'm going to import one of those. And you'll see that I now have the image within DesignSpark Mechanical. And what I also want to do is I need to scale this image so that the cookie cutters are the size that I want. And I've determined that I want the cookie cutter for the main body to be about 4 inches long. And to do that, I'm going to grab a construction line, and I'm going to make the construction line be 4 inches. And so this gives me a reference line that I can scale the image to. I'm going to make sure that keep aspect ratio is on, and I'm going to resize it. There we go. So we have the image is the size that I want. And now I'm going to outline the image. So now that I have the center line, I'm going to click the center line, and over here on the side, I'm going to tell it that, yes, this is a mirror. So what's going to happen is that as I draw the left side, it is going to mirror around this line and create the right side as well. So that means I only have to do half the work. So I'm going to go and zoom in the head, and I'm going to use a series of splines to outline this image. So I'm going to have the first spline here. I'm going to tell to go around the circle like this. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be close enough to resemble this object. And as I get to this head, you can see that it is in fact mirroring on the right side as well. Because the image I'm using isn't perfectly symmetrical, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be good enough for a cookie cutter. And I'm just going to speed up me outlining the rest of this image. It doesn't take a whole lot of skill. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, you just follow the outline, create the splines, and eventually you'll have the image done. And there we go. We now have a symmetrical outline mirrored around this center line. So if I take away the image, you can see that we now have the shape that I want for the cookie cutter. So now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the offset tool. So first I'm going to select all of the lines, and you can see that the offset tool gives me a perfect offset of that image. And I want to go over here and I want to say close with an arc, and that'll make it look a little better. And I know that my nozzle is 0.4 millimeters in diameter, and I want the main cookie cutter portion to be two shells wide, so I want this to be 0 0.8 millimeters. So I'm just going to type that out, 0 0.8 millimeters and that creates the offset that I will extrude into the cookie cutter. So I want to create more of the lip so I'm going to offset these again. I can do that by double clicking on this corner and I'm going to give it another 0 0.4 millimeters in this direction and another 0 0.4 in this direction. Now that I have the cookie cutter outline, it's time to extrude this into the actual three-dimensional objects. So I'm going to click on the center here, and I'm going to tell it that I want to extrude 35 millimeters. And now we have the outline of the cookie cutter. This is going to be the portion that actually cuts the cookie with. And then finally, I want the edges. I want to make that a little bit thicker, and I'm going to say, hey, give me 5 millimeters there. And I'm going to do the same to the inside edge, 5 millimeters. And now we have a cookie cutter with a thicker uh, part at the top where you can hold it, and then the thin, uh, the two shell portion that will cut the cookie dough at the bottom. And you can see that it is in the shape of the outline of the character that I wanted. So I'm going to import the face picture, and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to draw the outline of the face, the outline of the glasses and the hair, and extrude just like that. And I will show them once I'm done. And here's the face portion. You can see that I grabbed the face, and I just outlined the glasses, the hair, and the mustache, and extruded that. And hopefully that will leave a little indentation in the cookie dough. 
that will show those glasses once the cookie's done. And I also made it the same size, the same height as the full outline one, and gave it the same base to give it a little bit of structure and a place for you to hold. So now it's just a matter of exporting these as STL, um, slicing them up, and getting them printed. And I will show you them once we're done. So here are the final cookie cutters. You can see they turned out really well. Even the two perimeters on the cutting edge uh, seem to splice together pretty well. And they feel very solid. This one takes quite a bit of force to deform. And this one is extremely solid. There's no way that this thing is bending or breaking. So they look like cookie cutters. So I guess the next thing is to see if they act like cookie cutters. So let's make some sugar cookies. So our first batch with these cookie cutters resulted in this! Yes, note to self, these may have been too large and the cookies kind of turned into a cookie sheet. Uh, well, you live, you learn. So the dough that we used expanded way too much and the cookie cutters didn't actually work on it. So I just used the rest of the dough to bake normal sugar cookies to bring into the office. So that's part of the experimenting. The cookie cutters turned out great, but the dough not so much. So I'll give it another try, another time, but for now, that'll be it. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video, and subscribe for my channel for more awesome stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.